Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in today's video, I want to talk about something that's happened recently. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of it before, but it's like the military romance scam. Um, it's where people, uh, you know, pretend to be these people from the military, usually super hot guys or women, whatever, um, and they seem really real. Uh, the messages they send, the way they talk to you, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I had heard about it a long time ago, but just, you know, it never really stuck in my mind. Um, until recently, I was on Tinder the other day, and just swiping, and um, I saw this, you know, super hot guy, you know, tattoos and all that stuff. Um, you know, typical. Uh, so I swiped right on it, and I'm like, this guy will never, you know, match with me, whatever. Um, well, I woke up the next morning, and it showed me a match, and it sent me a message. And at first, I'm like, okay, something's off. This person shouldn't have swiped right on me. Maybe it's a mistake or something. Um, you know, but we, you know, started chatting back and forth, and um, I gave him my phone number because it's just easier for me to, you know, text through my phone than to use apps like that. Um, so we messaged for a few days, and things are going pretty well. And then, you know, just certain things feel off. Um, some of the stuff he says, like when, um, you know, when he starts bragging about his military decorations and, you know, he won a silver star for being in the war in Afghanistan, all that stuff. And I'm like, that doesn't feel right, I guess. So I looked it up on the military website and you can see every recipient of the silver star. I'm like, he wasn't on that list. So that was kind of my first clue. And then he told me... Uh, I asked where he lived, and he said he lived in Mountain Home, which is a town about two hours from me, and there's an Air Force base there. But he says that he's Army, and that was kind of a second clue. So I'm like, there's no Army base in Idaho. Um, and at the Air Force base, I have friends that have worked there, and there's never any Army personnel there ever, um, especially as a uh, command squadron or whatever. So I'm, you know, I'm kind of collecting these clues. I'm like, this person isn't real at all. So I do a reverse Google search for his images, um, the pictures that he sent me. And um, one of them actually matched on Google Images, and I went to the website. And it was scam hunters or scam haters, something like that. So I looked at the link, and apparently this guy's picture has been used a bunch over the years. And so I started looking at the pictures that have been sent to other people and start matching with the ones that I've been sent and the ones that I've seen. And I'm like, okay, these are the same pictures. There's nothing new. And the supposed like recent picture he sent me um, must have been old because a lot of the other pictures show the tattoo sleeve on his arm is complete. And the picture I received, um, the tattoo has just been started. So I, uh, I texted him and I said, hey, you know, um, I found these links. And he's like, oh yeah, well, remember I told you that my account had been hacked. And I'm like, okay, yeah, well, um, how about we meet in person? And he was like, well, why don't you uh, you pay for my gas and I'll come see you. And I was like, I'm like, no, I'm not paying for your gas. You obviously make enough money. And, uh, you know, and then once I, you know, once I told him that I wasn't going to send him money, um, that I don't believe he's real or whatever, you know, he just completely stopped talking to me. And I'm like, yeah, okay, so this was a scam. And like I say, you know, I should have known better. Um, and this isn't like a pity thing, but I know someone like that would never ever swipe right on me, let alone like hold a conversation. Um, because we are two completely different, you know, spectrums of a scale. He's a you know, an 11 and I'm like a 4. So, but yeah, I guess this is just to, you know, put it out there. If you see someone on a dating app or something that seems way too good to be true, it probably is, especially if they're that good looking. Um, you know, always be wary. And I know it's not fair for, you know, people who really are, you know, that attractive and they are real people and they are genuine. Um, you know, these kind of scammers kind of ruin it for those people who are, you know, out trying to look for a relationship and just get shot down. But, you know, you never know. Just keep a conversation. Make sure they prove who they are. Um, just with anybody, I'm always asking for proof, whether it be social media profiles, whether it be, you know, FaceTiming, you know, stuff like that. Um, 
So, you know, just, just trying to be safe all the way around. Um, but anyways, you know, just, I just thought it was kind of something interesting that had happened. Um, maybe it's happened to you before. What, you know, what app were you on or what dating site were you on that it happened to you? Have you? You know, did you send them money? You know, I'd like to hear, you know, your experience. Maybe this has happened to you or someone you know. Um, but anyways, just thought it was something fun to share. So anyways, yeah, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.